guys, it's Calvin the Ruby Guppy, and today, well, we're all locked up. We're on lockdown. The country's pretty much on lockdown. We got the coronavirus going on. So a lot of us have th time to time to do things. I haven't done a video in a little while. I've had uh, pneumonia before all this, uh, so my cough is. You know, I get the coronavirus. I've had that for weeks now. But uh, um. Our fish tanks ought to look gorgeous here. They tell us all we can't go to work. I got laid off here a couple, three days ago from driving the bus. And I've been slowly working on getting my fish room to where I want it here in the new house. Some of you may know or may not know, uh, my old house had a serious problem. I had to uh, leave it in a hurry, uh, structural problem. So I moved my tanks and downsized more tanks, smaller tanks. Anyway, I've got tanks. Anyway, uh, but I got a question the other day. It's like, I never get no baby guppies. How do you keep getting guppies, baby guppies? And pretty much all you have to do is put a male and a female together. And most of the time, most strains of guppies will just pop out babies all the time. But uh, there's a few, a few strains that are not as good that are, you know, that are coming down the line from Taiwan. Uh, the King Koi's I hear are a little slow. But the woman said, well, you know, I've seen a baby or two, but then they're gone. I don't know, they die or something. Well, what happens is mom and dad eat them. Uh, fish fry's good. Um, and they like those little fries. So now you gotta figure out how am I gonna keep the fry from mommy and daddy from getting eaten? Okay, and plants are a good way. And some people don't, I put, uh, you know, I've got guppy grass in some tanks. And uh, now with uh, my work schedule, or lack of it, but I'll, it'll be back again, I hope. We hope. Coronavirus can't last forever. But um, I'm actually decreasing the amount of guppy grass I'm using and going to building uh, guppy breeding boxes uh, for, my, for my tanks. Uh, I can. I don't. I'm taking the substrate out and just putting glass bottom tanks in with guppy boxes, and uh, maybe uh, I might put some plastic plant in there or something, something I can clean pretty easy. But um, it's just I'm, I'm taking five gallons of weed out a week. It's just a lot of work, and it's hard to clean the tank and hard to see what the, the babies are. So uh, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to build a guppy spawner to, to breed your guppies and give them a place to hide. Without having plants, and actually, plants are the best way. That's my. However, when you have a bunch of tanks, it's a lot of work. So, what we're going to need for this project is this stuff. Okay. This is um, called plastic canvas. Comes in salt, multiple sizes. This is the seven squares per inch. I prefer the five, but we are under lockdown. I'm not even sure the pet stores are going to be open, or the, not the pet stores, the um, pet stores are open. They're considered grocery stores in Missouri, so they don't close them, but I don't think the hobby stores are open. And I can order some of the, uh, the other stuff on Amazon, but for, for the purpose of this, this will work. Okay, and uh, to go with that, I bought these two. These are not a requirement. It's just still the plastic canvas. It's, it's not required. Okay. And uh, another thing I have is rocks will work for this, but I happen to have some of this. And I use these for weights to hold it down when I'm done. So not a requirement, but it's an idea. And, uh, well, I had it here a minute ago. Yarn, which is over there. Okay. Um, and what I'm going to do is I will zip ties. And as you guys that know me know, Zip ties are my thing, so we're gonna. I'm gonna go with blue today, because my green supply is dwindling. I have thousands of zip ties, but anyway, there are zip ties. Okay. Now, uh, let me see if I got a piece of the. I do have a piece of the other stuff. Just so you can see the difference between the. For some species, strains. See, this has got a much larger hole in it. This is the this is the a piece of the five I had, and you can see if you put them next to each other, 
there's a little a pretty good sizable different pat in the pattern that being that we're going to use the small one right now So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this like this. I'm going to just curl this around like that. I'm going to zip tie. You can use fishing line if you don't have zip ties. You can use some of the yarn over there um, if, you, if you want. And just zip tie this or connect this in a circle like this. You don't even have to cut it. This is the way the sheet came from right there. Okay. If you got this size sheet and this was an 8 by 10 sheet or something here. That's all I'm going to do right now. I'm going to be back after I get that. Okay, so now you've got something like this, right? And you can leave these on there. I have, I've got something like that. I have little things like a, a tractor plant. In this case, I'm actually going to use yarn on this one, so I'm going to take my scissors, put them left and lay right there. And I'm uh, oh, sorry, got caught up a look at the fish. Just snip that all off. Okay, now I want to make this a little bit more attractive to guppies. And so what I do is you can build spawning mops out of yarn. And I think I might have a video or other videos on that. And they tie this around a rock and let it float or sink to the bottom. And this ends up in a pile at the bottom. That's good for quarries and bottom feeders. For this, for guppies, they're, they, they hang up a higher. So what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to do this a little differently. I'm going to take another piece of this stuff. Okay. I'm going to make a little loop like this. Just like fold it in half. I'm not going to use this. I'm just going to wrap it around here about 10 to 15 times. Nothing big. Just a little different style that lets me make a floating bob. Okay. Now I'm going to slide this thing out of here. Or actually, I'll take a zip tie. Okay. Take a zip tie like this. Like that. It, right around that, all that yarn you just did. Okay. Tie that down really good. And snip all these. Now you've got something that looks like this, and well, I got one still attached. I've got one like that, still attached. Gonna snip it off. There you go. Now, you can make these longer if you want, but I'm gonna do it like that. Now what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna snip that off too. Zip tie. And somewhere down the middle of this thing here, not quite the surface, I'm gonna take a zip tie here. And this is on the inside. I want this to attract to the inside. And I'm gonna simply zip tie this to the wall in here up near what's going to be the top of this thing i got the zip tie backwards all the zip ties that you think i learned you got to put them in forward there you go okay now what this is going to do is dangle in the water so they just float to the ground now you can also use cork and hang them and float them around the tank yeah. i got a little you don't need green yarn. This has to be acrylic yarn, polyester yarn. Something that's not going to rot. Can't use cotton or wool. See? Like that. And I'm going to put another one on the other side over there. Maybe a little lower. Just to give them something in there to, to attract them into there. I'm going to make another one of them things. This is a 10 minute project. You can do this with the kids. It's awesome. Uh, we're all going to be cooped up in our houses for a while. Amazon still works. I can make a link to the bottom down here to get you an order in. So you can do this at home. You can see it don't take very long. Yeah. Zip tie that together like that. Snip the other end. 
This stuff will last years this yard while the water, believe it or not, it doesn't rot. There you go. I don't buy expensive yarn, I buy the cheap one. There you go. Look at that. So I already got the high one. I'm going to put a little bit lower one in there. But if you want, you can actually attach a couple to the outside of this if you wanted. Where you put this and a couple pieces of yarn on the outside. Just gives your baby fry a place to go hide. Now. If you're using this smaller stuff, if you can't find the number seven, and I'll make a link to the number seven and link to the number five, I couldn't get a hold of number seven the other day when I bought this stuff for this project. I'm stuck with a five. I prefer seven. I really do. Now that one doesn't want to come through the. There it goes. Now if you want to make this a little more attractive, you can actually attach one or two of them to the outside. Give the guppies a place to hide on the outside, but there you go. I've got a couple of the inside, now there's going to hang in there, and you got a couple of little things. Okay. And you can put a couple on the outside if you want. Then you don't need this, you can just take a flat piece, and I'm going to just have to zip tie it to right to here. Okay. There you go. In your tank. Done. Well, I'm going to stop this. Zip to tie it together here. Okay, I'm back. So, I put a couple on the outside, a couple on the inside, put a bottom, zip tied. I even put a little handle there. Sometimes, if your tank is deeper than this, and if you got a 10 gallon tank, this, this works fine. Depending on the size of this, you end up getting. But if you got a deeper tank, you can hang this above there. Just long, This has to be above the water. Now, I like to put an inch or a little bit more than an inch so that nothing can jump in and out. You don't want the water up near the surface here. Now, this will work for other live bears too. Uh, you may have to adjust the size by whatever size fish you got. You know, but there you go. You got a 10-minute project to do with your kids. Or, well, you got plenty of time to do. I'm gonna snip that off right there. You can leave mine, but I just snip the rest off. I'm gonna snip that one. Off. And there you go. You got a something you can throw in your fish tank. Cleaning it. You really, really got to clean it, but if you're changing tanks or you, something happens to your tank and you put it in another tank and you think, think you want to clean it, just dip it in water with some, um, um, hydrochloric acid, there we go, 3%, uh, mix that some in there and clean that, let it soak for a little bit, pull it out, let it dry, there you go, just stick it in your new tank. So this will actually, with this, this is actually, because you don't have plants in your tank, you're using this instead of plants. This yard will hold some of your bacteria, so it holds some of the the the, uh, the good bacteria for your fish. Even this grid will. Okay, I've actually cut little uh, some of these out and made little squares, like cut out one one little box because the big guppies really can't get in it, and to let them in and out of here for some of the bigger fry. You can do that too uh, if you get the smaller stuff. It's better to buy the bigger stuff. Like I said, I couldn't get it. And I got I got what coronavirus would let me have. I'll put some links down there, and maybe you can get it to your house. Uh, maybe it won't be sold out, but maybe you're doing it. So, there you go. I hope this helps. Gives you something to do. Hey, get the kids out here. Let them cut yarn. Let them put zip ties on. A little project for you there. Uh, one for each tank. You can put two in a tank. It doesn't matter. Simple little project. Cheap. Have a great day.